It's a special day for science today. The birth of modern science. Well, kind of. Galileo Galilei was born today, 15th of February of the year 1564 in Pisa. Other than making discoveries of astronomical proportions, pun intended, he changed the course of science as well. Galileo Galilei questioned almost everything. He believed that we needed to observe the universe to know how exactly it works. This means that any discovery or claim thrown at us has to be verified to know how true it actually is. Before his time, wild claims used to be made. And if questioned the workings of it, you could just say that it's the mysterious workings of a creator. If my profile was high enough and if I tried convincing you enough without conclusive proof, I could say wild things from a geocentric solar system or an earth system to the universe being run by wild dogs. Believe it or not, science earlier used to run without experiments. Galileo, by the way, was not the first person to conduct an experiment. He revolutionized science by believing that experiments were the way to go. We needed to test out hypotheses to know which ones were correct and which ones weren't. Galileo has discovered plenty of things with conclusive proof. And no, he did not invent a telescope, he simply modified it. But what he did find are mountains on our moon. He discovered Saturn, plenty of stars, plenty of Jupiter's moons, sunspots, the fact that heavy and light objects fall at equal time, and so much more. All of this with conclusive proof. Galileo essentially invented the scientific method and put it forth. This scientific method is what we all use today. In a nutshell, it starts off with a simple question, then a hypothesis or a prediction, and testing out the hypothesis by what we know today as experiments. Of course, no matter how great your scientific contributions are, you still get hated upon. Galileo went so far as to question Aristotle's teachings, which were very important, as well as the Bibles. Aristotelians, devout Christians and priests alike, did not like him trying to disprove their so-called true claims. With his rich man's toy, the modified telescope, arguments and him proposing the modern scientific method in a way. Galileo was imprisoned and tortured multiple times, but his mindset of science did not change. That was a good thing since centuries after his death on January 8th, coincidentally Stephen Hawking's birthday, scientists found out that his claims were actually true because they had conclusive proof, of course. It isn't a bad thing to question what has been taught to us over generations, to ponder upon the workings of the universe, and to try something new and open your mind. After all, that's what science is today. Stay scientific.